everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own wine bottle candle using a bottle cutter, an old wine bottle, and some wax, wicks, and fragrance. As you can see, I've already cut the wine bottle, so now at this point we just have the cut wine bottle bottom. We have fragrance, we have wicks, we have the candle wax, and a popsicle stick. I want to thank Upcycle Easy Cut for letting me use their glass bottle cutting kit as well as DIY Gateway for allowing me to try this candle making kit. So let's get started. First you're going to need to estimate how much wax you need. Typically a one pound bag of wax should be enough for a wine bottle. However, you may need more or less. So estimate how much you might need. I think this should be enough for our wine bottle. This is also an exceptionally thick and big wine bottle. If it's a beer bottle or something smaller, you probably need less and so on. Next, we're going to melt the wax. I'm using a double boiler. I have this pot filled with water and we're gonna put the wax in here. It's recommended that you use an older um, pot to melt the wax in. Um, so if you have an older one that you can use, that's better, uh, that you don't use for cooking. Otherwise, if you do use it for cooking, just make sure that you clean it out properly before you use the cook with. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour the wax in. All right, and then I'm putting this on medium heat. We want to melt our wax until it's in a liquid state. Um, if you have a thermometer, try to aim for around 185 degrees. So it's been melting for about five minutes. I'm stirring it up just a little bit to kind of make sure it melts evenly. So it took about 15 minutes for the wax to melt. Our next step is to pour our fragrance. Remove the pot from the heat source. I've set it aside here on the counter and I have it sitting on a trivet. You're going to need one whole bottle of fra fragrance for one whole bag or one pound of the um, candle wax. Now we're going to pour it in. And then we're going to stir it. We need to let the wax cool. In the meantime, we're going to get our wick or our multiple wicks ready for our wine bottle. Since this is a large wine bottle, I'm going to be using three wicks. So I'm going to set them in here. And then I'm going to get my bow tie wick holder. And it should sit nicely on the bottle. This will be used to keep our wicks in place. So let's figure out where we want them. That looks like it's about the center. And as you can see, on the wick holder, there's the hole and then there are these little slots. When you know you're happy with where you want your wicks, you want to slide your wick into the little slot there and now we'll keep it in place. There we go, now we have our wicks all set up. And now we wait on the wax to cool. Um, if you have a thermometer, you would like the wax to be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, if you don't, wait until it gets at least a little bit cloudy, then you know it's cooled and that should probably take between 30 and 45 minutes. Okay, it's been about 35 minutes. Our wax has cooled to the point where it's cloudy. Um, so I'm actually gonna have my husband help me pour the wax now into our uh, wine bottle. And I'm gonna use this popsicle stick to help kind of guide it in there. So here we go.
So as you can see, the wax doesn't quite get to the top of the wine bottle. Because it's so large, I probably should have used maybe a pound, one pound bag and maybe half a pound of the other, but that's okay. What we'll do is we will let it dry overnight and let it cool off. And then uh, when it's hardened, we will take this off and trim our wicks down and we will have our nice candle. I'm also going to take off this extra bit of wax too that got on here. Okay, it's been about four hours uh, since we poured the wax and as you can see, it's already pretty dry. Um, I don't think it's safe to burn the wicks yet, but I am going to go ahead and remove this, uh, cut the wicks down, and uh, probably clean it up a little bit on the inside with a knife. So there we go. I've cleaned it out. I've cut the wicks and I'm going to clean it up maybe a little bit more. It still needs time to dry before I can light it, um, but it turned out really well. And again, like because I um, didn't use quite enough wax, I probably could cut it down, but I think I'm just going to leave it as it is. I think it looks nice. Um, but that was a lesson for next time. Um, probably use maybe at least a quarter as much uh, wax as you need to fill, um, you know, the wine bottle. But cool, this is really fun and it makes a really great gift and a really inexpensive gift. And of course, if you want to, you can make your own cool labels. You can add different kinds of scents like essential oils. Um, really the possibilities are endless. This is a really cool project and a cool kit and I was thrilled to get to try it. Thanks guys.